Hello everyone, welcome back. So, um, you know, every single year you do, or you try to do Christmas presents for partners and sponsors, and that's what we also did last year, and we did a book. <laughs> yes, that's me. So we did a 2021 Sophia book, and it turned out so cool. So it was a really short term and quick thing, but we, yeah, produced 20 of those books with pictures from the season. And I thought, or we thought, Jan and me, because Jan actually did this book, um, that we're gonna show you how it looks. So um, it's always like with the place where it's been and like track and then some pictures for it. So we are starting with the first meeting at Abt's Borslein. So it was actually the first time I went to Abt last year to do the seat and to check everything and to meet the team. Then some days later, we went to Hockenheim for the first test, um, which was, yeah, um, cold, I think. Yeah, it was really cold, actually. I still had my green, I used my green shuffler helmet and I was using space drive for the first time. Um, also in a space drive car, so it wasn't my car, actually. Then we went for the first race of 2021 to Spa. Spa Franco Shaw, the six hour race in WEC. The first race for me in a world championship. Crazy. The three shot me racing, which was freaking cold again, um, but it was cool. It's great. I had, we did some, we took some pictures, some very sexy pictures, like model, model like. Then we went to Lazatring for a DTM test. So jumping from LMP2 prototype to GT3, we did this great picture, which is also actually the cover of the book, yeah. which is I think one of the sexiest pictures Jan ever took of my eyes. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, we had the official test days at Ladsring, then we went to Portimao, to Portugal, and it was warm. Yes, it was warm, I remember it. We took some, it was an eight hours race. We took some pictures at the beach, which is beautiful, but actually they're not in here, but still it was beautiful. Then we, we're gonna show them. Then we went for the first DTM race at Monster and I have Laura here. Actually, she's the main one. Who's working in F1 now? She did a good job. Um, so yeah, had all the bosses here from Scheffler. Then we went to Monster again, not for DTM, but for um, WEC. So it was actually DTM Monster and then, DT, uh, and then Monster WEC six hour race. I did it with Tati and Baitske. No, I just did it with Tati. It's true, because Baitske had a W series race. So it was a six hour race just for two drivers, but it was cool. Then we went to Lazatrig for DTM for the race with the oval. Crazy first turn. Yeah, bosses were there again. Um, but still no fans. There was some fans allowed, but just on a grandstand. So yeah, it was better. Then we did DTM solder and I took some, I produced a picture for Samsung with this dress from Versace and my Johnny Fried. Everyone was looking in the pit lane. It was really strange because, you know, I was there with a short dress, which I never wear on racetracks. And then you had all the people in DTM, like mechanics and stuff standing outside or in the pit boxes looking. And I was like, yay. I don't like this, but it was good, cool pictures in the end. Yeah, it was wet and Zolder. I remember this. It was not so cool. Then we went to the greatest race of all times to Le Mans. 24 hours of Le Mans. And it was a fucking cool week. Totally going for, sorry for this thing. But um, yeah, it was crazy. We had fans. So, you know, last year, like 2020, we didn't have fans. 2021, there were fans allowed, but just from Wednesday or Thursday onwards. And we had a test day the week before and there was no one, like no one, it was just empty. And I remember I went into the first few practice on Wednesday, I think, and I went out of the box and I saw people standing there. And it was quite a lot of people for free practice session. And from no one to people standing at fences, it was so cool. I loved it. So yeah, I mean, it was sunny the whole time and then it rained right at the start of the race. Wow. <laughs> Emotions all over, especially during night when we yeah, had to retire the car. And then we went to DTM Red Bull Ring. 
And it was so cool because it was femmes allowed in the paddock and it was autograph sessions again and it was hot. I remember this. And on Thursday, I went to fly with Eski. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was so cool. Probably one of the coolest experiences I had in my life, actually. And you know, the funny thing, because last year when I had this flight, I we kind of exchanged Instagram names and we're still talking. And actually, I was thinking about going there to Salzburg because he's based in Salzburg to go to Salzburg this week to do this flight again. Mm. Cool, right. You know, other people never do it again. I want to do it again. Smooth. It was fucking sick. Um, yeah, then we had Rapper Ring. It was fans allowed. So we had autograph sessions, which was crazy cool. Then we had TTM Assen, a track I've never been before, but a cool track, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. And I got my first TTM points. Lucky, but I still got them. And it was fans and cool and Dutch people. And um, yeah. But I was actually sick that week. Oh, I remember this. Because I, I had a cough, I think, and I got medication and like a cough juice, you remember? I don't know. And then during that, I woke up and everything was itching on my whole body because I had an allergic reaction on the coughing juice. So I wasn't sleeping. I had fever. I had this, I was red all over my body and it was just itchy the whole time. And I had a cough, which wasn't going away because I couldn't take the shoes anymore. Yeah, this wasn't cool. Also in Zolder, I was actually on antibiotics, antibiotics. I was, yeah, quite sick quite often last year. So then we had DTM Hockenheim ring, um, which was cool. Hockenheim is always cool. And you had many fans there. Look at these. And I also had many friends and like, friends from Munich and like my past at Hockenheim visiting. Look at how many people there were. We're also gonna show you the pictures, but um, it was cool. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. I'm really gonna miss this. And then we had Norris ring. Yes, true, the final of DTM. I went to take some pictures again with Jan. We always try to get the sunsets and stuff, you know. But Norris ring, 64 laps around Norris ring, sick. Really cool track. I really loved that week. Seriously, I enjoyed every single minute, I think, of this weekend. It was so cool. I miss those people. My mechanics from last year. Striezel, Taui. Ah. Basti, Laura, alle. Cool people. And so many fans, actually. It was fun. Markus, my data engineer. Yeah, so you see, like, this is actually Jan's favorite picture, I think. Because I'm, like, smiling like a small child at, at, at Christmas. Yeah, and then I actually got my second points there. So um, I had a really good race and finished ninth, I think. So, yeah, it was a great ending of DTM for me. Then I went, oh, you know, that was bad. Because I had seven weeks of traveling. Like, I was home, in seven weeks, I was home four days because I had something before Lausitz Ring. Eh, no, before Hockenheim DTM, I had something. Then I had DTM Hockenheim. I had something again. Then I went straight to... Ah, oh, yeah. After DTM Hockenheim, I went to test in Portugal with the LMP2 on the beginning of the week. Then I went from there, I went straight to Norris Ring for the DTM final. From DTM final, I went home one day, I think. Then I flew to Portimao for the LMS final, which I did for APR with Fairley and Richard, where we ended on, on the podium. Oh, coolest week and of last year. Um, yeah, you see it on my smile, I was super happy. So I went there, which was a great weekend. Oh, I loved it. Then from Portimao, I went back home for two days. And then I flew to Bahrain for two weeks for the WEC final. Double header, six hour race and the eight hour race. And it was hot. And in between I was tanning and getting a tan. And again, actually, so Ilemes, Portimao, I ended up on the podium, but I was sick again the whole weekend. I, I don't know, but I think I ate something wrong and then I was sick the whole time and I lost kilos because I couldn't eat anything, like nothing, nothing, not even a banana. I was nothing eating for like two, three days. And I actually kept it until I landed in Bahrain. 
but I was I was bad. I was really bad. I had fever everything, but I still ended up on a podium. Then I flew to Bahrain. It got better. I was fine on the first weekend on a six hour race. But then I went for dinner with my dad and I had just wear a dress and you know, you have all this air conditioning things everywhere. And I got a cold, but a really bad cold. So I had 40 degrees fever. My eyes were hurting. My ears were hurting. I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't sleep because I had such a bad cough. I was on the limit. And then we had an eight hours race on Saturday, which was cool. I finished P6 on the second qualifying of the second weekend, so of the eight hours race, which was the best result for the team, which was super cool because I was fucking quick for that car and stuff. Loved it. Highlight, and then I did the WRT test afterwards. Well, we didn't have put pictures in, but still I was P1 on the day after, but I was on the limit. And then I flew back home and I was in bed for five days because I was just not feeling it. But yeah, oh, it's so cool. I mean, I love, you know, those pictures. And then in the end, you we put like the sponsor logos in of Chefleur, of Richard Meal, and of like some, some partners, which I had. Yeah, yeah but um, here. It was, it was a super cool year. Um, and it's so cool to have a book like this in your hands and to be able to like just go through the weekends and to actually realize that I did two championships last year, DTM and WEC, like two really high championships and that I was enjoying it and that I was busy as hell, but I was a fucking cool year. And um, yeah, I love that baby. So I hope you like the video, but for me, it's something very special to go through those things again. And um, yeah, give it a thumbs up. And um, maybe we kind of do something like this, like a limited edition after this season, we'll see. If you like it, then write it in the comments. But maybe we do this. Peace out.